Alright, going, doing, the reaction, and three, two, one, let's do this. So that's a little loud, okay, gotta turn this down real quick. So, got a game here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I seriously don't. Alright. Sit back and watch. Get my views and things. A little bit. Gotta shut up now. Mouse. See, like, I don't play this, but I might. <laughs> I might now. If, you know, only the joy co Yeah, that's cool. That's actually really cool right there, how the, how the screen don't really tip like that. I like that. That's a good feature. Alright. Need something to drink. Can the switch? I, I mean, there's... Rumors about this a long time, so it kind of wasn't even surprised. Like, okay, it's this game. All right. Minasan. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. All right. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And that was, all right. of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. Look pretty good. Not gonna lie. Is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. October. Okay, let's get okay, into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please right. take a look. All right, gotta put my cup up here somewhere. I'll put it down here. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. In a haunted hotel. I want this. Where every floor has a distinct theme, unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? That's fascinating to say the least. <laughs> Harsh sands and booby traps. Oh no, not the booby traps. There's a disco floor, a pirate themed restaurant. Oh. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of boxes to check out before you, well, check out. <laughs> Speaking of amenities. I like that. That's a cool feature. All new I mean, I never played a Luigi Street Mansion game. God strikes me dead right now, but. <laughs> and a gooey team. Huh. With only one Nintendo Switch system. Two to eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 3rd. I like that. Just in time for Halloween. I like that. I, I actually really like that. Oh, Kirby. Free to start Kirby game. The combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby, and Kirby, wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. No, that looks like fun. Take up quests in town. I like Kirby. And collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. Four times the Kirby, four times That's the fun. Right. That's what get I'm talking weapons, about right there. Get your gear and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests, so get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless, or even play online. See, I was expecting that. I was expecting that would be like a feature. If it's gonna be multiplayer like that. Like it was kind of time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. And remember Ooh, today today what today long awaited recently released RPG is getting a remake after 20 let's years, go all right let's the see this series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy trials of mana Ooh, that looks From good six different characters you'll choose a protagonist and two companions the ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. 
chance interference in will not be forgotten as each character advances. Never heard of this actually. But it looks cool. Class, so far it's been very cool. Special moves and spells. But we all know what I'm really here for. Or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance Ooh. and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world. April 24th. On April 24th. 2020. Yo, 2020 is going to be a big year. Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? Over then. The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to hmm. turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastards may taste exactly what I give you! Ooh. The Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. That looks like a cool puzzle looking game. To Oberdin to such an end? This looks cool. I haven't seen that ever game so far, but little still. By little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch. I like how it looks old fashioned. Uh, that's nice. Starts fall. There's a small town out there with a big secret. Game Freak. Look at Wooloo. That's the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster to defend the townspeople. Just no pull ball like catch it. Will stand up to face Maybe we'll make it in a gallery. <laughs> and the only weapons he'll need are I'm bad. ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. <laughs> I better get a mega video. Make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. Wow. You can purchase and preload the game later today. Another today thing? Banjo is coming to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That's who we're here for. One of the things we're here for. Finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie. Release date. What is it? And the release date is today. Today! Today! Since today! A video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. I just threw my remote. <laughs> As a special treat, the video will today? be immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. To tie yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. Oh my God! First, today? Oh, those servers are going to be chock full. Those servers, those poor servers are going to be like Joker. I swear. Oh my god. Yo, we are going back <laughs> to the early days. Oh, I <laughs> we're going back to the early days. That's what we going. Oh, man. Day. Wow. Today. New character for Smash?
Somebody just grab the grab the invitation, please. I need to see who it is. Just grab the invitation. You're gonna hate me for this, but I don't know who this is. Now in development, Harry. Ultimate. Oh, I never played the game, so. <laughs> you know, that, that, that. November 2019? That's like two months away. Yo, there's still one more pack. Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Still going for my boy Spyro. Only one left. Oh God! They're, are they going to actually drop the fifth? We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers. No. Outside the five fighters included in the fighters pass, we can confirm that other new fighters. More are DLCs. Developed. The battle isn't over yet. More DLCs? There's more than five? So, what do you Spyro think? could still get in! <laughs> additional fighters at the end of that segment. We'll have more to share with you in the future. Yo, I, I, I don't know why. I just really want Spyro. Let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Alright, see what we got here. See what we got here. It's about huh? time to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. It's hot in here. And encounter some I'm freaking out. familiar faces. I'm freaking out. Whatever Kirby. happens, <laughs> help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Hmm. Add in plus effects that alter chambers and save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That's that interesting. Way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. September 20th? The amiibo figure will be available that same day. Wow. They're just dropping everything on us right now. They're just like... You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. Hmm. And experience new character focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack. Including oh. consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. Yeah, I was about to say An free RPG free DLC. Near. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. Yo, I'm actually freaking out right now. Like you, you can't even tell. Like I'm trying to hold my demeter so I don't end up breaking the mic more than it is. You can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. So much. <laughs> Today has been an amazing day! <laughs> Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Then say hello to Tokyo! The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place hmm. in modern day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa. Which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. That's cool. You'll face off against this threat as up and comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Krom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, <laughs> we'll wage deep turn based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features. I know that was. Story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? 
Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore. I really hope my January face cam and all is doing good. I, I should fix that today. today. <laughs> Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Young Wild had to cut this out, but I'm gonna pause this real quick so I can check my face cam and all, make sure everything's going all right. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back. We're back, by the way. I had to cut that out. I wanted to rearrange some things so I can keep an eye on my face cam. FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles that name. Nintendo Switch in 2020. Blessing and now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Dude, today? Like I said, I have my thing pulled up now. So like I can see everything. I had to like rearrange. No, but that's that's the point. I had to shut up. This, this has too much talking in it. I had to shut up and watch. Chicken form. I'm sorry, that was funny. Sweet. And now for a message from Bethesda. Bethesda. Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software. I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person Doom's games coming to Switch. Ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, <laughs> Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Oh, Even this is going to be cool. Against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. This year, yo, this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be broke by the end of this. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but oh its boy. operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, can we just get the swish, please? Which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, I feel like Colgate will like this game. Events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. 2020. <laughs> Yo, this has been a going? great direct. Next, yeah. the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, yes! Pokemon Sword, and Pokemon I just bought my- I just bought my- We have more information to share that will shed new light all right, on all this right, next Pokemon all right. adventure. Please take a look. Alright, this is what we've been here for! Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region. God, it looks so good. Land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among Leaf them, Yanzen. you'll encounter new Wulu. Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Four. First, customizing your look. Are we seeing this? Once again, the latest entry in the series Dang, lets the you good pick your game. outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety. 
including oh, underwear you... and gloves. Did you say underwear and gloves? Plus, you can change your <laughs> hairstyle. Yo. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a that champion cool. than simply honing your battle skills. They, they, they added to the customization. Two, I like that. Second, Pokemon Camp. Ooh. During your journey camp. to the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. Is that a shiny Alcarini? While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. Alcarini? And I think, you get to know God, I forgot better, name. They'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Ooh. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. I like how you can like Third, interact with curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out, and what type it is, ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. I like this cooking game. Not to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types. The reaction. Each one you cook up will be registered in your curry oh. decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Is that a new? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth. We'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First it's a deep Poltygeist. Poltygeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. Tea. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, nice. another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying it's and goofy, I like him. Pokemon <laughs> has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. Rule 34 hours is probably watches or number. Or dive during battle. Watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This Ooh. is Cramer's exclusive new ability. Oh! And that's all we have to share with you today. It can't Pokemon be. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch. There's no gotta be more. 18. I like that bird, though. There's gotta be more. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch online memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing so, a variety of games and fun features. So they're not going to introduce like starter now, evolutions. We're looking to add in an additional library of games. Or none of that. They just like. It's called there. Super Nintendo Entertainment System. That's a big goof. I'm not complaining. Switch Online. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. There are some you may not expect, like Stunt Race FX which will be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, or even play together online. Hmm. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Do Here they have a rewind the feature? Games we plan to release. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Of course, we will eventually <laughs> add more fire. to the lineup. Star Fox, Kirby. This offer is Yo. exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? I noticed that. To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This Super NES style controller will somehow is going to find a way to purchase. It's going to find a way to address. I'm telling you now. It's going to find a way to address. Visit the website for the latest information on its release. Somehow.
Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Guess we gotta wait for next month in order to see the start of evolution. Nintendo Switch Online members, the large scale puzzle battle game. I have that game, I play it. Who an update? Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons too. Ooh. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU. Hmm. Get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A tomorrow? Version, including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 6th. Tomorrow, everything is coming out today or tomorrow. Mario Yo. and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. Interesting. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. I like how there's a story mode. November 5th. I like the story mode idea. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version Damon X Machina Prologue Demo will be available for download later today. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the That's beginning of the right. game. And <laughs> all of your progress can carry over to the full game. Hmm. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends, and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. Or a demon. Yes, it's a demon. Oh, the Star Wars sure. classic so fun, it's back for more. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch. I was not expecting this. I did not, I was not expecting Star Wars to actually hit Switch. I was like... We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Road. That's two action packed games for one great value. All past DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed The Rebel Flag. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free to play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your slayer on the go 
or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options. I gotta finish this. After, I will be right back. I have to go get dinner. Alright, and we are going to go and go back to this rea reaction. I just got done eating. In three, two, one, boop. And team up with other slayers to take down boss sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Alright, new games. What we got? Just Dance 2020. Red Auto Sport. Farming Simulator. <laughs> Bitch, I live on a farm. I know how to farm. Nino Kumi, Wrath of the White Witch. NBA 22K20. Yeah, this looks cool. Outer Worlds. Devil May Cry 2. A vampire. These games look sweet. I'm not gonna lie. These guys, they, 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 these games look really cool. How's everything going? Everything's doing great. Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. We revealed many details about the game Animal back Crossing. in June, and we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Hello there, viewers. I'm Tom Hill. Mm -mm. Promotional video for you. Aw, oh, thanks, Tom. You're the best. It's called Welcome to Island Life. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. Okay, it's starting. It's starting. We gotta listen to Tom. We gotta watch this promotional video. Thank Hi. you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. <clears throat> a laid back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. Ooh, this looks pretty. For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove of Deserted Island Life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Ooh. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Yeah, we can actually we can choose where we oh, build that and tent. And something else. Build the tent. We'd like to yes. offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including well, that, that'd be like for me. crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials. It's like Minecraft, like but circular. I see how it's done. And stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you that, have like to acquire new there. materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. Hmm. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style and you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Ooh. He's living better than I am. Let's head back to resident <laughs> services. Here we sell tools and furniture. Carper we also box buy your unwanted bucks. items. I wish it was 100 bucks. You remove as part of our island cleanup plan. 
In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing. I thought that thing was going to go all the way over. Bugs, tend to flowers and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Huh. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. Huh. The scenery changes I like time this. and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll this game is so real. creatures to catch too. <laughs> smelled it, Sociable smelled it. types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Wow. Up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? Yo, Zach is going crazy right now. I can already see his reaction to this. He is going absolutely crazy. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Did he just round that off? He's just like... Nah, I don't want that there no more. Dang, this is going to be a great Animal Crossing game. I'm not even going to lie. This is going to be a phenomenal Animal Crossing game. So, right. how'd it look? It looked great. There's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. That game looked amazing. All right. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. All right, last announcement. Because you know, usually when this thing goes, it's not the last announcement. There's usually one more special announcement at the end. <clears throat> All right, what's this? Looks familiar. That's why it looks familiar. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be a good game. This looks interesting already. I gotta wait next year for this. Oh man! Microsoft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Banjo and Kazooie demonstration begins shortly. I'm gonna sit here and watch this because. Why not? 30 minutes isn't enough. I'm just going to give you the entire reaction, maybe cut a little bit of pieces out, and you know. Because that's what I'm going to do. So as we're staying tuned for, uh, well, never mind. <laughs> I was going to drop a, drop a little announcement, but never mind! Here we are. ...of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. 
Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. This is gonna be great. You may feel like some time has passed since our hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. We sure are busy, two days. even if I say so myself. You hear people in the background laughing. Please let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the hero showcase, I was playing by myself using two controllers like this. With hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shields. Huh. So in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. Where so is even mine? Though it's a bit of a pain. I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to get two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. All right, let's get started. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? Well, well in it? terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. Mm. And then there's Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. I haven't heard of that one. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. That's the Microsoft rep. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. <laughs> Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. series. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. Mm. They're basically like, you want to use Banjo? I'm a Smash. If you, you want do to it. play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. <laughs> I love the laugh in the background. Oh, the nice Xbox. Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. Hmm. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle. So we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. They remix it. We'd like huh? to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Song name goes here. All right. Here. You'll see the track names. Okay. Let's take a look at the fighter. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be real fun. As part of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo Kazooie choice. I don't know why I'm so, so, so this is excited Banjo about that. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. Hmm. And I like their that. jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Their neutral attack is called claw swipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we build upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a rat attack rap. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. Mm. Their up smash is bill drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means bird bash, which is bird bash. Their neutral air is wing whack. 
I'm getting this tomorrow because I'm not. I'm not even going to try to get today. An air ratatat rat, which hits three times. Their down air is beak buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. He looks like gonna be fun to use. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original game. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Ooh. Regal Blaster. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. Ooh! As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Since the Ooh. remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In addition, Dang. you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. This is a game changer. This is actually a game Next changer. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring pad. <laughs> It can be ah. used to recover, and it's throwable, too. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in mid-air after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. So if you're falling, Banjo. you can use it like this. Jump, and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. Hey. Ba yo. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will yes. change depending on how long it's you pink. hold the button down. Mm. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, rear egg, they'll fire a grenade out of its backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile. Grenade egg. It can only be launched behind the fighter. And because the grenade egg is football shaped, its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. After a certain time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Hmm. Your opponents can also throw it back at you. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly, or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. <laughs> I think he's pooping out a bomb. But that's my <laughs> Yes. Their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. Spiral Matten. I think we've seen this in the this reveal. This is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the West it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. 
Ho-ho! This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. That is an awesome stage. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gluntilda's lair is visible. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. Let's see them in action. All right. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in team battle. I need to my back. Donkey Kong okay. and Diddy right. Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Let's Hang see on. this. So there are actually two on my side too, so I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. Hmm. Note we're playing with items on. Hmm. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> auto fire, auto fire. Oh, the final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. Now. And. Nice. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. This this stage looks so good. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. And final smash. And it's over, right? I there it is. Up, so I win. Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. Go <laughs> for. That's a wrap. We all just said that. That's what we talked about. Cameos. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo-Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cool, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Brentilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of banjo 2. Hmm. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. I can't because I face cannon. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail. Even at her size. You could probably ah. make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable path for some reason. <laughs> and after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some <laughs> maybe she's not going home. when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. That was a sight? They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. 
and now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? Yeah. We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. I wonder what the different skins and colors are going to be. Song collection. All right. This Next, is where it gets interesting. Let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So, I hope you enjoy it. I know what I'm buying later on. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original Banjo-Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. Outside of Japan? I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Ooh, the wow. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Version 5.0 update. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie. Alright, let's see what this got. Update. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Have that drink. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. A game mode? And here it is. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. And with this bat, not with this, but this bat, and off it goes. Hi. Maybe a little too high. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contest, so please enjoy. I said we make Sandbag the DLC for number 5. About the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. We got a plant in. We can get Sandbag in. Petition to make Sandbag. I'm, 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 I'm not sure with the second player. Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together. And not one person playing as two fighters. <laughs> I hope you play this with your friends. <laughs> I don't have any friends. In shared content, oh many people man. have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. I like him, he's now, funny. And all <laughs> you know, this isn't how we're supposed to play the game. <laughs> but moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. Hmm. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. That's nice. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. So ah. I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. I haven't played Smash in a long time, so this is going to be a fun way to get back into it with Banjo! We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. Alright, let's see what we got. Extra me fighter costumes. Alright, I'm listening. Mm. Mega Man! Alright, let's see what we got. It's Proto Mario! <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> yeah. I'm glad I stacked the sucker around. This is this is good. Zero made it in, in a sense. I'm listening. Team Rocket. <laughs> All right. All right. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that was so unexpected. Everybody wanted to be a fighter. Now you can basically play as them. As a c okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do later on tomorrow <laughs> this week. <laughs> what? These servers are going to be just shut down. We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale. Megalovania. Popular request. Popular request. Oh this yeah. Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. Did we just really get Megalovania? The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. <laughs> Toby! Toby! visited my house, and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. <laughs> he was actually really good. <laughs> this is great! Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. I am freaking out. I'm honestly I freaking out. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Yo. Sans. Squirtle. In Smash. Sans in Smash. <laughs> As soon as I heard the music, I'm like, no, they're di they didn't. They did. Why he was hiding. <laughs> they will each be available on September 20th. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. God. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, but yes. Challenger Pack 4, Terry Bogard joins the battle. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, Ooh, I got Terry hiccups. Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. So they're not going to show them, But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. Mm. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, I kept freaking out. I'm like, just get the ladder! Just a little bit of in game footage of Terry. Here you go. Ah, that's what we got. So, no Goku? Finally. It was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. To me, going to 10, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. You may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. Just do Spyro, please. That's my time, only one request. I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. Just even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so I want to I have the tingles. <laughs> I guess the tingles. <laughs> and I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. I'm calling you now. There's going to be 10 DLCs. Thank you very much. Guess that was it then. All right. So uh 
before anything, I just want to let you guys know, thank you all for watching. I'm probably just going to go and edit this together real quick and then upload it. And then you guys can watch it as one big old scene. And it's going to be like an hour long. But hey, you know what? That should be fine. I mean, I don't see an issue with that. I could just separate it into multiple videos. But, you know, why not just give you guys one big hurrah of my reaction to everything in a whole. Because I think that will be fun. But, so, uh, also, we are so close to 500 subs. We are currently four, I almost said 300, 481. That means we're less than 20 subs away from 500. I, I, I had a long day at school. But anyway, this is, that's all. That's all I can say right now. So, uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment what's your favorite, uh, game review what's your what are you most excited about there you go and subscribe to get even closer to that goal if you're not already and you are new to the channel so uh yeah without further ado i was your boy post you guys stay shocking and i will see you guys next time i do